What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hashra Hub. It's about 9.20 a.m., February 21st, 2018. Coming to you with a trading video. Lots going on last night. But first, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Upvote, re-steam if you guys are on Steam it or DTube. If not, links are down below. Also, let's not forget, we also have our giveaways probably starting soon in the next few days. So be sure to subscribe, like the video, and also um, leave a comment down below. So, uh, okay, so a few things going on. So we had this sell-off that happened last night. Um, uh, and I'm trying to remember where we left off last um, in our last video. Even though it was last night, I was so tired, so I probably don't remember very much about, that, about it. However, what, uh, what are we looking at? Okay, so it looks like we've had this, this uh, fifth ending wave diagonal, okay? This fifth ending wave wedge. And that's a, a very serious Elliott Wave count. Um, it's something that Elliott Wave uh, speaks about all the time. Uh, Elliott Wave theory speaks about um, and, and in pretty good detail. So the market has fallen off from here. Now, originally we had thought possibly we may be having a larger A, B, and C. Okay, and that's if the case, that, that's if this right here um, was this right here. Instead of this being three, this was the this was this was the fifth wave, right? That's if this was the fifth wave, right? And then everything else moves back. But I don't think that's the case anymore. Um, I I, re I really don't. I think what so I'm going to go ahead and and and, and delete this right here. Um, I do believe that this is the end of the fifth wave right here of the larger of the lar larger one two three four five. It's also the end of the fifth wave of this smaller. Um, upward, you know, upward phasing wedge. Um, that's, uh, you know, that's that, that that that's part of this whole thing here. So, what happened last night is obviously the market has fallen off. And let me just move this aside for a second. Okay, the market has has fallen off, and what it looks as if we have right now is a one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And what I'm thinking is that the five could end somewhere around here, or it could also end somewhere along this support level right here. All right, so I'm going to pull this back here for a second. Okay. So based on the extension from this, from the one, two, right, from this one, two, um, the third wave has gone ahead... The third wave has gone ahead and it's pierced the, the uh, you know, the 100%. In other words, the, the third wave is, is, is more than 100% of the first wave distance. So that's good. That's what we want to see for uh, at least the third, a third wave. Uh, and then we're coming down here. Now we have the 1.6618 um, where this is touching right now. But that's not um, all too... All too indicative. That's not really the way in which you uh, utilize a retracement, but you can see that at least it's coming down to a level that that somewhat makes sense. So, what I'm thinking is that the uh, um, this support line right here has been broken. The market did respect it, came down, came back up above it, came back down. You know, it was, it was testing it for quite some time, and then it's fallen off. Where we where we are right now, okay. Where we are right now, let's call it about ten thousand six hundred. This ten thousand six hundred is drastically below the tops of the ones right here, okay. So this this wave is is over, over, said and done with, and now we're working on uh, some sort of a correction. Now, at the very least, at the very least. What I'm thinking is that we're going to have some sort of A, B, C correction here. Okay, that's assuming that this is five waves down. Okay, this could be three waves down, and we ha also have an A, B, C correction, but it'll be obviously look, it'll look, it could look similar, it could look different as well. Um, we could hit down here, and then the B, and then the B um, come up here, where this is kind of just basically a fool's trade. Right, and then we come back down and come down to a C. Okay, another thing I want to show you is, at least from a uh, Fibonacci perspective, is 
is this. If I measure from the bottom, and this is kind of what I do, like, all the time. <laughs> um, and since I do it so much, I should probably have a shortcut it, but I don't. Um, uh, so from the bottom to the top. And where could we possibly see your retracement? Aha, uh -huh. the 50% looks really good to me. Okay, that's about, let's call it about 8,900. You know, because why does it look really good? Because it's also the top of, of this right here, of this one. It also kind of comes across and it's the top of this one right here. So I really think it's this one right here that's really going to be the thing that stands out the most. But obviously the 50% retracement on Elliott Wave is obviously going to, going to, going to you know, help this line become a, a point of, of resistance. Remember, resistance is not necessarily points of resistance. It's more like a small little range of resistance. So <clears throat> that's what I think could possibly, could, could possibly happen there. Um, <clears throat> This ABC right here could be of a larger ABC, okay? This, lar this ABC right here could be of a larger count ABC where we have um, uh, a larger count ABC where we have five waves down on that first leg where, you know, this, this basically could be one, you know, two, you know, then we have like a three, four, and a five, right? That very well could be the case. Where does that bring us? That brings us down to about seven, 7,200. Uh, it may not necessarily get down that low. It may get down to the, get down, get down to here, right? This is about 7,906. Let's pull up that retracement again. Yeah, I mean, my eyeball kind of was right to begin with. Um, I forget, I've been doing this for a long time, so I kind of almost like see the Fibonacci retracements and extensions uh, just because based out of proportions. Um, and the longer you do it, the longer you draw these things, the more you're going to you're gonna see the same. So I think before I had the number somewhere around here, the fifth somewhere around here. So maybe, uh, maybe this third, you know, bounces off the 618, Maybe it comes back up to the, you know, the, the, the 0.382, and then it comes back down to the, you know, the 0.786. That is a possibility where we're going to have, you know, a larger A, B, C, okay? Let us not also forget which, what I had on here yesterday. Let's let us not forget. Let us draw it. <laughs> uh, where is it again? There. Sorry. Okay. So we can't forget that this could possibly be a, a possibility. Okay, A, B, C, D, and then we may be looking for an E. So this retracement could have, you know, it could take some time before it gets down here. It's not going to go straight down, I don't believe. But um, it could very well be a place, it could very, very well be a pattern that needs, still needs to play out. All right, I mean, if I eyeball this down here, and this is not my primary count, guys, so don't, don't bug out on me. You know, I mean... And this comes down to about 3,000 or 3,100. Yeah, I mean, that kind of makes sense based on here and here and here. So uh, that's not my primary count. I'm just saying, I'm just showing you kind of like what, what, what I like to, to look at. You know, how varying from either sides of the spectrum, meaning bullish to bearish, do I, do I look at things? So um, let's just delete this. Delete some other stuff here that we don't need.
Okay, so, so yeah, so this is what we're this is what we're thinking right now. Um, again, this may not be the end right here. It's a very good chance that this could come right back down here uh, to test this channel. Uh, this channel would be about somewhere around ten thousand two hundred and seventy nine. Probably be a little bit higher. Uh, let me get this out of the way. Call this about ten thousand three hundred and twenty five. Uh, this seems to make make sense because it is also the top of this third right here. All right. We also have the 10,000 level, which very well could be something that could, could that the market could stop on, or it could it could wick down to, um, which I'm also drawing my my uh, my you know my number one here of this larger one two three four five, which could possibly be be a case. Another thing I want to mention here is, yes, I brought the QQE back up again. I just wanted to take a look at what it, what it, what it's looking at. It crossed over on this on this on this large uh, red red candle right here, um, and it's coming down. Same thing with the Laguerre RSI. Very similar type of thing going on here. Large volume coming down here. Um, it is, you know, reducing, but still it's large, uh, negative, negative volume to say the least. This is, um, you know, as all, all retracements, corrections, this is a good thing. Um, it's a, it's, it's very good. Let's see how protracted it gets. Um, in my, in, in, in my belief, I don't think it's going to get too protracted. I think it's going to, I think it's probably going to, going to correct in a fairly a, a quick manner. Um, but at the same time, I still have, I still have this overarching, you know, channel that I, that I was showing you before and also this descending wedge that we're also working on at the same time. So market really hasn't shown what it can do yet, what it, what it, what it will do yet. Um, but you know, at the top of this channel right here or the top of this, uh, descending wedge, depending on which way you're looking at it. The market bounced off decisively right off of this, and we didn't even really have much power at all to get over it. So it's really showing me again, hey, there still are a lot. There still is a lot of uh, indecision in the market. People are still, you know, not super bullish about it. So it makes people like us that you know have a lot of cash on the sidelines from raising cash from you know from all various different uh, you know points up here. Um, you know, just waiting for it to come down again to uh, to, to pick it up again at, 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 at a larger, excuse me, at, at, at a lower price. So let's pull up the RSI real quick. So RSI, this is on a two hour basis, peaked here. Okay, it did not peak here. Okay, remember this is a higher peak here and this is lower here. So this is there's divergence here, right? Um, let's look at it in an hour basis. Okay, same thing here. Okay, it never quite got up there, but here and here it did. Okay, divergence again. Okay, you can almost draw a trend line right here. All right. So it's saying here that the market is oversold right at this point here, but I don't believe that. Um, I don't believe that. It, believe that at, at, at all. Let's take a look at it a little bit closer. On a 30-minute basis, um, yeah, Q, the Laguerre RSA did a did a great job catching these smaller these smaller waves up and down. Um, yeah, again here it said it was oversold. I, w I wouldn't have believed that for 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 a second. Let's look at it on a four hour basis. Yeah, did a good job. Again, divergence, look, this is this here is higher on the RSI than here. But this point, uh, price wise, is much higher. So again, divergence, right? Okay, so we're gonna leave it there for right now. Um, yeah, and happy trading. Speak to you guys soon. Thanks.